So two weeks ago, I posted a video called, If you beat my map, you win $100. And let's just say, this made some people really angry. I have to say, I'm very disappointed in you guys. You're all literally scrubs, and this is the easiest map I've ever... Okay, this map might actually be impossible. Is what I would say if I was a little bit. <laughs> I wonder what that just did. Hey you there! I've got a bone to pick with you! So it turns out that pressure play turned the room into a deathmatch where I had to fight an armed skeleton with my bare hands. I could choose to escape with the parkour, but that is incredibly difficult considering he can shoot at me. I had no choice. I must fight! I couldn't beat one skeleton, so naturally I learned from my mistakes and get the 200 IQ idea to repeatedly step on the pressure plate and spawn 10 of them. This somehow turns out to be a good idea. Chaos takes over the room. Casualties everywhere. RN Jesus decides to bless me when I knock this guy out with my fists and he drops his bow, which I then use to kill the final surviving skeleton. My character decides to trip over a pebble and die, which means I'll have to fight the skeleton again. I decide to gather some berries in the Wither Rose Garden and I find a hidden chest that contains a wooden sword. Having a weapon trivializes this room, so it was an easy win for me. It was at this moment I realized that I had only beaten the first room, and there were an unknown amount of rooms left to tackle. This isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. Luckily, there are signs that give you a clue on how to beat this impossible jump. It was at this moment I find a chest with the most game-breaking item inside of it. The boat. I do what every good sailor in movies do and drive it off a waterfall, then I casually do a dream level stunt where I jump off the boat mid-air to complete the impossible jump. I grab a checkpoint and it seems this map has become easy already. Every time I press this pressure plate, 40 skeletons will spawn. If I die, I will have to press the plate again, which will spawn 40 more on top of the ones already there. Getting them to shoot each other isn't working either, as there seems to always be at least 10 targeting me at all times. There are now 260 skeletons in that room, and I was getting desperate. It's okay though, this boat plus my 500 IQ will save me. I'm going to leave this boat by the entrance and try to thin the numbers by having them shoot at each other while I parkour and die countless deaths. In a stroke of absolute genius, one trillion IQ move, I put the boat on the left wall and glitch through the ceiling. I ride my land boat into battle and search for a bow to have a fighting chance. I still have no luck, so I continue to use the boat as a shield against the arrows, systematically slaying every skeleton that gets in my way. At one point, I have a very close call where my boat gets stolen. If I die here, my boat will be stuck in this area where I cannot break it. I finally find a bow drop and I'm able to take out the rest of the skeletons blocking my path. I use the boat to glitch out back into the main area and completely skip the parkour. Why didn't I add a checkpoint here? There are wither roses hidden inside the darkness and will cause me to rapidly die if I don't watch my step. And if I die here, I will have to do the skeleton room all over again. This really might be an impossible map. I decide to do what any logical person would do and sprint through it without thinking, completely Dragons! reckless. We got this, we got this, we got this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yo, I'm done. I'm quitting.